Hello and welcome back to a Splatoon. I am playing through the storyline and I left the last episode looking up at the sky and I shot two more episodes after that but there was a glitch in the capture and so now I'm ahead in the story but there's some levels I don't have footage for, so I'm going to go back and play those now. So, let's redo Inkvisible Avenues. Yeah, there is a weird thing with glitches, in that, for whatever reason, there were some frames of the recording that... That uh, didn't work, and the video as well as the audio skipped and wouldn't line up anymore. So instead of trying, and I couldn't find a way to fix that, that was my first thought, but instead of trying to, you know, make up some reason and to make that somehow work, I thought, hey, the level should be replayable, hopefully. So. I'm gonna go back and re-record them. So hopefully this will go even faster than last time. Or the first time that I did it. And these little guys are cute. The little stamp guys. They're kind of like the small forms of, uh, of the first boss. And that they try to squish you. And that makes me curious as to if there will be miniature forms of the other bosses that eventually come into play. So I'm just trying to remember everything about this level. And all I know is that there's a lot of things you can do with ink, and that here the trick is is that there is a hidden passageway in this invisible wall that you can only find by outlining it in ink and it's right there and so that was some cool puzzle solving and then you can just nearly take out everybody here from there now what I'm going to be curious about is finding the the hidden scroll. Because I think in most levels there's what's called a sunken scroll in it. Which I, I've been playing a bit of the online mode, not a whole lot, but some of it. And that the the weapon shop in the game, the character that runs it, apparently his grandfather was the first to make some of the, the ink-based weapons. I'm trying to figure out where to go here, and then he can recreate them for you. So that gives you new items that you can use, or new weapons that you can use in the online mode, which is pretty neat that uh, something in the storyline allows you to uh, to have special weapons in the online and that you don't just have to play online in order to get better weapons for that mode. And online's been pretty fun so far. Um, I've only worked my way up to rank 4, which is the first rank when you can start buying new clothings and stuff. But uh, I'm looking forward to be to uh, getting up to rank 10, which I guess is where the uh, or level 10 rather, which is where the ranked battles start happening. And I want to see what that's all about. I'm not sure if I quite have the time to try to become. Oh, I remember this now. I remember dying here a few times before. Cause the machine guns are tough guys to to fight against. Ok, 
Okay. Get him. But yeah, it'll be interesting to see how ranked play differs from online battles and I guess just how deep the mechanics can go and how the ranking system works. So I've got a piece of armor here. Make a path for myself and line this up. Hopefully there's not an invisible wall here. I don't remember there being one. Cool. Now let's see. There's something hidden here. Or am I just thinking a little too hard? I think that's the zap fish right there. Unless I am mistaken. Nope. Don't want to fall off the edge. Boom. Ah, right here. Okay. Here you gotta make use of your ability to sneak into the ink and pop out. Gotta fool him, catch him off guard. And you're able to hide behind these walls. But another important thing is not to get too slippery with the the squid mode. So there's another layer of them. No, 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 no! Oh, Felt like I was about to lose that there. Cover that back up. Let's see. Nope. Okay, so what I have to do is get on top of each of these. Boom! How'd you see me? See me scuttling through the ink? Alright. Boosh. Now get this set up. Ah. So that moment that I popped out, wasn't it? All right, I gotcha. Now to cover that wall. Go get the zap fish. Boop 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 boom. All right. Oh, is that a zap fish? Sort of teddy bear or plushy? Guess that makes sense since I already saved it. Alright, I'm just trying to go through the list of levels that I've played already. Alright, so what's also neat is that you can tap the different... Tap the different levels to be able to go to them. Okay, so the next one is Shifting Platforms, Midnight Rendezvous. Oh, I remember this one. Okay. So, the thing with this one is that there's moving platforms and that your squid form can go through them, but you can only go through them as the squid since you're made of ink in that form. You can pass right through the grating as well as underneath if you're in the ink. So it's got an Octarian of some kind on that TV screen. On my second way through I'm just kinda looking looking more at the uh, the environments. But yeah, hopefully oh right you fall through the gratings. That's something I've got to remember. That I can just jump to. But I don't always have to turn into a squid.
Oof. It's always those quick fire ones that get me. No, 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 no! Oh, well, that was embarrassing. Yeah, I've already beat this level. Splat. Well then, time to go at it yet again. Maybe I'm just trying to go too fast, too furious. Is that the name of the Fast and Furious sequel? If it wasn't, then they missed out. Either that or that's what I'm thinking of. Take that. Boop, 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 boom. All right. Now don't fall through the grating. Gotta remind myself, that's not something that is smart to do. Boom. There we go. Got past that. Boom, 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 boom. Now I'm back in the swing. Back in the saddle. Oof. That was close. That was scary close. Oh, I remember getting caught on that wall for a bit. All right, just gotta remember, can't turn into a squid when on a grate. No bueno. Doesn't work. It's also kind of a little bit uh, disturbing that the idea is kind of just like, yeah, you're, you're drowning. These people in, uh... Ooh! I found the scroll for this level. Well, that's cool. It's kind of disturbing that, yeah, you're just drowning people in ink. Even though you can swim through it. I guess... Or ink's poison? To the different... Species? I'm, I'm not quite sure how that works out. But then even the inklings, by the different colored ink they get, they get hurt. So I'm not exactly sure how that's explained in the lore, but hey, whatever, it's fun, right? And it's marketed towards kids, so <sighs> lore was it's not like people like stories that make some sense. But that's... that's for perhaps a different discussion, or a different time. Um... Alright. Where am I? Boom! Didn't even see it coming. Come on, okay. And this one takes some timing. I better I can just cover all three of them. Keep my timing right. Nice. And there we go. Zapfish. Oh, I see. That if you're doing a level again, it's just... It's just replaced there by... By a stuffed doll. Oh, that's cute. Well, I think I'm... Flying through these levels. Um... Oh, but this is new. Heralded by loud explosions. The great octo-weapons quickly storm the Inkling's central stronghold. 
Victory for the Octarians seemed all but certain, but due to a plug being carelessly pulled from its socket, their hopes were dashed. Hmm. Interesting. That uh, each of the sunken scrolls kind of gives a little bit... A little bit of lore. Okay. And also, you can't see this on here, but if you press and tap, you can see what level number. So... The next one I'm gonna do is level 15. Undeniable flying object. Bluefin sighting. Oh, I remember this level. Okay, the thing about this one is that there is an enemy hanging out. This guy, this bluefin, that is launching ink strikes at you the whole time. Which I remember... What I also remember, sadly, is that this is the area or the part of the recording that screwed up last time, so hopefully it doesn't happen again. But, I also remember commenting that I knew what an ink strike was and how to react to it because I had played the multiplayer portion before. But basically, it's, uh, it's Splatoon's answer to a, uh, what is that? To an airstrike in something like Call of Duty where uh, basically something gets called in from the sky and it creates this huge area of effect and you gotta make sure you're not around. So I think it was right here, right at this corner where things started to glitch up. So if it happens again, I know it's not just a chance thing, but that's just me trying to reconcile this. Is this where the scroll is? No, this is just another path. Yeah, now this is that this is my second time playing through this level. I'm also I'm also hunting for the secrets. Oh no 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 no! I don't want to die. No, thank you. And then there's the little, the other fin-ish creatures that fly around and they throw the grenade items at you, which is fun. So it's like they're a miniature version of this other one, which is kind of cute. Ah, there's the scroll. Cool. That's awesome. And then, gotta make sure that I clear or just run p through this part, because I can't turn into a squid there. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby, why you gotta hurt me like that? And I think it's just up here. I remember this being a lot tougher the first time through, which I bet is what most people can say of a lot of video game things. Except for games that are meant to be ridiculously challenging. Here we go, and I remember the first time I played this guy, I just ran at him, and you gotta cover him all up in paint for him to explode. But uh, yeah, there we go. How easy was that? And I got the secret too, so that's cool. All right. Another stuffed zapfish. Bow, 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 bow. Hmm. Seems like I'm doing well enough. That. I can do the boss in this one too. This is the only existing photograph of the legendary Squidbeak Splatoon. The young man folding his arms appears to be the leader. When this picture was taken, the Great Turf War had been raging on for over a year. Oh, and I also see that uh, little cat character. What's his name? Is he Judd? I think? He's on the corner of these different notes. But huh, okay. So there's kind of a background to the Splatoon and everything. Okay, so this is the weapons page. 
and then uh, that's the that's the front of the book. Okay, so next time to replay the rampaging Octawirl. I remember this guy being pretty easy, so I'm hoping it shouldn't take me too long. It didn't have as much of a puzzly and like have to shoot him in certain spots aspect as uh, as the other bosses did. Oh, that's neat that even in the cutscenes there uh that the plushy sort of ragdoll versions of uh of the zapfish. Oh, and I remember saying that like Come on, man, just be yourself. It, you're, aren't you an octopus, not a clam? So, like, just, it's just a lesson to, to, to all of you from me. Just be yourself. Okay, so yeah, the idea to beating this guy is you have to, he likes to charge at you. So you gotta make a pool of your own ink to catch him in. So he'll spin around the outside or maybe maybe now it'll spin towards me. But uh, no, it spins around the outside and you've got to make a nice big pool of ink for it to get stuck in when it starts to roll at you. Oh, guess that wasn't a thick enough pool. Ooh, this is seeming a little tougher now for some reason. Ouch. Ooh, this is not looking good right now. There we go. All right. So just one more hit, and then I'll be almost caught up, and in much less time as well. So that's awesome, and more, I've got more of the collectibles, so it's just too bad that it glitched though, because I lost some of my initial reactions to the levels, and maybe talking more about how it how the different levels were cool, but I'm liking how this game is introducing all sorts of concepts and mechanics into its levels, so that's been really neat. This is proving to be, I think, a little bit more difficult than the first time. Ooh! Hoping I just get revived on the last hit. It looks like it because everything's spinning around again. And it's only the certain things that get covered up. But I think this is my chance right here. Or is it starting from the beginning? Nope! I beat it! I beat the Octoworld! And it's maybe not as epic as the first time because there's also a scroll to pick up here. And oh, there's the ghost of the scroll. But there it is! Another ragdoll zapfish! And I think that's it for this one. So until the next episode, uh, stay fresh, Inklings.